Uh, my name is Eric Welch. I was the engineer for the Justin Garner River City Sessions here at Personas. Justin Garner is a, a R&B vocalist. Uh, instrumentation for the session was uh, himself, acoustic guitar, and a cajon. So for this session, we used the Quantum 2626, where we were able to plug all of our microphones right into the front and go uh, with very little latency, Thunderbolt, into Studio One running on the computer. The Quantum 2626 was ideal for this application because of its front pedal uh, microphone inputs and its extreme low latency uh, Thunderbolt drivers that allow the musicians to monitor with near zero latency into the in and out of the computer. For this session, Justin used our PX1 large diaphragm condenser microphone. Uh, we also used that same microphone on the acoustic guitar and the cajon, as well as we used a pair of PM2 microphones, which is our small diaphragm condensers, on the neck of the acoustic guitar and on a little shaker that was attached to a foot pedal. When uh, tracking vocals, especially in the recording studio, we'd like to use a large diaphragm condenser microphone to pick up as much of the vocal intelligibility and clarity as possible across the frequency range. Uh, also the same goes for on the acoustic guitar. When we mic the body of the guitar, we like to use a large diaphragm condenser. Now these aren't hard and fast rules, these are just what worked for this session. Uh, and then again with our PM2, our small diaphragm condensers, they worked well picking up some overhead frequencies from the cajon and shaker and things like that. For mixing, um, first thing we do is we go across and we try to balance everything before we start EQing and putting plugins on. Uh, for the acoustic guitar, we had two inputs. We had the neck microphone and the body microphone. So what we did is send those to a bus and then we can EQ and compress them, both those microphones at the same time with the right amount of balance. Uh, used all plugins that are included with Studio One, which would be our reverbs, compressors, EQs. Um, the vocal chain was uh, a compressor into an equalizer, but you know Justin's voice and, and that microphone worked really well together, so it wasn't a whole lot to do there. One small challenge we had for this session was that it was you know the three musicians performing kind of a stripped down acoustic thing at the same time, so we didn't have a whole lot of you know low frequency generated from either electronic drums or, or kick drum or anything like that in the room so in studio one I was able to use a trick by side chaining a tone generator to the cajon to add some more low end to the to the instrument because it naturally didn't have a whole lot because any time that he hit the cajon at a louder volume I was able to generate a subtone to go along with it which kind of gave it a, an 808 feel for the R&B button. Thanks for enjoying the uh, Justin Garner River City session. If you guys want to check out any of the equipment we mentioned in this video, the Quantum 2626 and the microphones or Studio One, uh, please visit personas.com.